524. And here in Texas, we are no strangers to armadillos, but today we're introducing you to one that you usually only see south of the border. Madison learned all about the three banded armadillo for today's Wild Wednesday. We're here at the Dallas Zoo, and our guest this morning is a little sleepy. It won't come out of his shell just yet, but this is the three banded armadillo. And here to explain more about the three banded armadillo is Ryan. So, Ryan, what is this little guy? This is Titan, and she is exactly that a three banded armadillo. Now, we have armadillos here in North Texas, but not the three banded. You'd have to travel all the way down to South America to find one of these in their natural habitat. And it's unique because, unlike some of the other armadillos, she can actually roll up in a complete ball like she's doing right now. Yes. Now, she's one of the only species that can roll up completely in a ball. Her head and her tail almost are like little puzzle pieces that come together. And that's just great protection. Shows that hard armor to help keep her safe from predators. And I'm also seeing deep inside the shell, are those her teeth? Those or are actually claws. her fingernails. Oh. So those are her shovels. Her fingernails are meant to be that long, and she uses them as shovels to help dig into the ground to look for things like insects, worms, grubs, things under the ground that she might eat. Okay, so there's some armadillos that jump straight up in the air, others that curl up in the ball. She's obviously the curl up in the ball type. Exactly. Yep. And one of the cool things about her, she's actually quite old. She just celebrated her 19th birthday. Wow. That's, <laughs> so no wonder she's a little shy. She's like, I've done this before. I've been there, done that. I'm ready to take a nap. Exactly. Yeah. She's not nearly as active as her some of her uh, fellow counterparts that are a little bit younger. Now I see her shaking. Is that the nerves or is she cold? <laughs> no, that's a great question. Um, we tend They tend to shake when they're sleeping. We think maybe it's their, when they're dreaming, maybe they're breathing huh. heavily. They, they tend to shake a little bit. But we don't think it's anything to do with nerves or to being cold at all. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you want to come see cool, unique animals like the three-banded armadillo, you can come visit the Dallas Zoo. And talk about not being impressed. That little guy did not wake up the entire time we were filming until we finally were putting him back in his crate to take him back to his sanctuary. Uh, but, Karen, I, I don't know if these animals are resourceful or lazy because they actually don't burrow their own holes in the ground to sleep in. They actually use already burrowed holes to that maybe were left behind or abandoned by an anteater or other animals. So, uh, resourceful or lazy, I don't know. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. All right, Madison, <laughs> thank you.